Hello my dear friends, and today we will talk about the high poly models inside in Lumen. In this tutorial we will use the Lumen, we will import some high poly model, which you can find around the internet, and you will see some tricks and tips which you can use in your own model. So, let's get started. I always like to start from the scratch, because you wanna see how you can load it inside, you wanna see how you can create your scene in Lumen, so this is what I am doing for you. So first go to the import and here you will find the, the direction where you can go. Find to where you saved your high poly model, here for example my high poly model and load it inside to the project. So be careful when you will load inside your high poly model and choose the, the right name and choose the category where you wanna leave it. Why I'm saying about the name, because uh, once you will load inside to the Lumen, Lumen will remember that and that will not will delete from the library. And the better if you will create the sum folder, for example I already have the folder here as you can see high poly, and just call like wood stamp. And let's leave it like that. Just say ok, and now once you did it, you will get your model inside in Lumen, once it will load it of course. Once you will finish, you can see here is your model. I think this is really totally huge because if you're not using, for example, now the Russian model, it's really, really big. So how I understand that you can just use some tree, for example, here is a tree and you just can place it around this stamp. And as you can see, this is really totally huge. So to change the, uh, the size of this, just select it. Yeah, I need to select this model, let's go to the imports, select this model first, and after that you will find here the scaling, the scaling, and as you can see this is now 0, 1.0, so let's make it, just double click, and 0, I wanna make it, so if it's 1, we will do 0 point, point 0.1, and as you can see now the size is correct, because now it's it was the 10 times bigger. So now, as you can see, here is our stamp, you can place it whenever you want. And as you can see, we don't have any texture right now, we should add it. Actually, we have it, if you download the model from the internet, it's becoming with the, some uh, albedo, uh, some diffuse map, and with some normal maps, as you can see right here. So to load it up inside, you need to use the material, use the material, after that select your model. You once you will do that, after that go to the standard material one and change here the color map. Color map will be the albedo because and let's select the loaded inside. Once you will finish you will find this strange thing. Now your model uh, is so glossy as you can see it's like a mirror and the second one is why it's gray. This the thing is because the color colorization it's now on the half percent so as you can see the this is gray actually if you will this increase it to the zero you will find so you will find for example is here the green leaf and uh, maybe that just a mud and something like that and even the wood it's now like a wood it's not like a gray gray color the next thing what we should change the glossy. Let's reduce the glossy, but not for to over uh, to the, the zero exactly. Let's leave it some a bit the glossy because I, all the objects in our old world have some glossy effect. And let's reduce the reflectivity. Also, not to the zero exactly, but near to that. If you want to find the realistic, uh, the realistic reflectivity in our world, you can go to the internet and you will find it. And now, as you can see, you can see now the stamp. It looks like a stamp. It's not looks like glossy metal object. So you can increase the relief, but we not will do that because once you will do this at the maximum, it will become so sharpness. I don't want to do its sharpness, I want to leave it a bit more soft and I will leave like that. If you think that finished, no. As you can see our normal map is becoming from our albedo, this is not correct. Let's go to the, our normal map and let's see where is our normal map. As you can see here is we have the asset stamp normal map load is zero. So the load zero it means without any much detail. If you have the highest lot, for example, lot number 5, 
it means we have like maximum of the detail so we want the maximum detail i will choose the uh, my normal map number four or number five i mean and let's load it inside to the project it will take time till lumen will calculate the result and you will see the difference actually difference as you can see it's becoming really really huge because now we don't, don't see any sharpness now we see exactly the how it look our wood as you can see on this side and if you will go more close you can see of course the triangulation but anyway from most closely uh, if you will put your camera more closely any anyway you can see the result it's really best so i cannot even go more close as you can see but the detail it's still on the high now let's talk about some effects in lumion first let's place our camera i want to make our my camera let's make 45 millimeter so this is will be something it will be perfect for us anyway we can make more clothes if you want let's leave it some on interesting way maybe on this this side let's do the, this side why not and i will leave on this side and i will make the horizontal level so let's put it a bit like this and we will create our first stone store camera so the first thing we should of course make the real sky let's find the real sky real sky you can find by the weather effects you will find here the real sky and now by real sky just change the light ways should be don't forget the light and shadows and these two things which make your uh, your the picture your render it's really really realistic all the all the things other it's not making as much as these two things so let's find the nice result maybe maybe we will live like like this yeah why not so after that let's go back to the um, for example we will go to the sun by the sun you can now more control your light i will place it somewhere here yeah somewhere here after that you should go to the of course you should go to the where is that uh, we should find the shadows it's here I will do the soft shadows and find detail shadows and of course this is exterior and omni shadows I will a bit increase it and now we just need some correction the shadows and don't color our shadows and now you can use the brightness to see for example some detail of the shadows we will do like this as you can see the uh, image it doesn't look like nice because the my settings as you can see it's not perfect at all Anyway, we will leave as it is. And now I will go back and I will add some the grass here. Let's add the some grass. Let's go to the landscape. We will find the here the landscape and we will say the grass on. Let's increase the sizes of grass and height of that and a bit differences. Let's go back to the photo mode. And as you can see now we get a bit better result than it was before I will change position of the my camera maybe we will live like that let's leave it and now you can render it just three filters which can help you get nice result nice it doesn't mean perfect you can get more perfect result and say that it will be number 10 let's render it and now you can open it you will find your result here as you can see we have a lot of the shadows we should change it here it's really sharpness i don't like it we should reduce it so we have a lot of the works to work with that but it's already another story you can get for example this was my first trying render after that i get i changed them for example the my uh, glossness and after that i just added volumetric mode i changing the light and i reduced the volumetric and here I change the, uh, as you can see, uh, field of view. Here I just added some external lights. Here I reduce it and I'm making only from this side. And as you can see, we get not bad result. 
and you already see the my video which I did so this is just by trying one by one I'm changing all the settings now here I should reduce the uh, Omni shadows like I will reduce it a bit maybe here I will make the my shadows let's I will do the it will be so soft one and I don't wanna color it and I don't wanna a bit brightness like this and I don't like how it looks like now as you can see the my the back uh, back view I yeah, I mean the backyard it's really bad so I will use the on field let's go back to the filters and you will find here the for field where is that the for field it's here and I will use the after focus I want to see only this part and let's change our focus distance our focus distance I want to see only the my stamp and let's reduce amount like this and just manipulate with all of these things okay as you can see we get reduced it okay and let's render one more time and it will be number 11 and you will see differences between 10 and 11 let's go back to the to the our mode and here is the number 10 and here is the 11 as you can see now we a bit reduce it but not much but anyway now we can see our grass better we can focus it now only on our stamp uh, we don't have anything on the back side it's okay because now we are using the um, depth of field it's making the view like this is should be like this because if you will live like that it's you can see the straight line it's really bad but by this way it's looking it's not bad so let's now uh, fight with these uh, shadows on this sharpness core I will do only a few things I will go to the sun and I will change a bit the he heading of the sun let's change it and let's make it more interesting like just slowly slowly we will change like that so we have more as you can see the uh, shadows on this side and this is will look better and let's add some more effects I wanna use the volumetric light and I will reduce the range of this let's do the brightness a bit less like this and let's reduce it just a bit small effect also we need one more effect so you will find this is under the you will find this under the two point perspective of course and one more thing of course the vignette let's reduce it a bit like this and let's make it more soft okay so the next thing what I'm gonna do, I wanna make some entourage and let's place it some leaves here. Let's go to the objects, here the nature, we will place it and now you will find the leaf here. Let's place some leaves, for example, as much as you can, like this and I need just change the position because you can see it's flying. Just change the position like that. Let's go back to the photo mode. Let's go back to the restore camera. If you can see here some entourage and let's render it again. The stop and it will be number 12. As you can see, slowly, slowly, but we're changing our render. So let's see the number 10. As you can see 10, 11, 12. So as you can see 12 it's already becoming realistic and even our wood it's now looking much better. And you cannot say this is just a lumen. By grass you understand this is a lumen. But by this object it's already hard to understand is it lumen or no. So by these small ways just play around with the your sun, just play around with the, uh, the shadows and make some additional details like these small details place some rocks here maybe just don't do the for example i have this uh, flat 
uh, flat soil here but you can change a bit ground and just play around with that maybe you can here do the mountain and these small small things will make your render is better i think that's it so this model you will find below this video all the models you can find the internet in internet just write the high poly model and use it and use the lumen to create your nice videos thank you guys for watching and see you next time